Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a lovely day. Today's video is all about skincare and I want to start off by saying that this video is not an ad. I'm not being paid to mention any of these products. These are genuinely just what have worked for my face. I get quite a lot of questions about my skincare because I feel like my routine is okay and my skin is fairly good, touch wood. So I do get a lot of you guys asking me for advice. So today's video is all about the products I use and have used and have loved and hopefully it will help one of you. So without further ado, let's get on with it. I'm gonna split this video up into six different categories. So we have removing your makeup, deep cleaning your face, staying moisturised, dealing with spots, pampering your face and fake tan. So I will put the times of when I start to talk about each topic in the description below so that if there's a particular category you're interested in you can skip to that time if you want to. Right, I think that's everything. So let's start with the first category which is removing your makeup. I would say that making sure all your makeup is gone before you go to bed is the most critical thing about having a good skincare routine. It doesn't matter if you do a deep clean once a week, if in between those deep cleans you're not removing your makeup, all that makeup is sinking into your pores in your sleep, it's mixing with the sweat and bacteria and it's just so bad for your skin. So the way I remove my makeup is actually super simple, I use only two products every single day. So the first product which I would recommend, slightly controversial one, face wipes. I use these simple cleansing facial wipes. I use it in the morning just to have a freshen up and at night time to remove the majority of my makeup. I know that skincare specialists say stay away from face wipes. However, I feel like they're saying stay away from just using face wipes. I mean, they are good, they're easy to use, they're easy to carry around and they do get off a lot of your makeup, but saying that, they don't get rid of all of it by any means. So I wouldn't rely just on face wipes. The next step I use is I use the Body Shop's Vitamin E Cream Cleanser. I'm sure you heard me talk about this before. I literally rave about it to every human that I know. It's honestly my holy grail skincare product. And I've actually had so many of you guys tweeting me saying, oh my God, thank Thank you for recommending it. I feel like it's very underrated. So I will squeeze a little bit of this onto my fingers at the end of the day, put a little bit all over my face and rub it in gently and then literally take a cotton pad. Most of the time I only need one and wipe it off and you will see so much makeup still left on your face, which you wouldn't have removed if you just used a face wipe. That is my everyday skincare, a face wipe and the vitamin E cream cleanser. At this moment in time, that's all I use on a day-to-day -day basis and that is definitely what's worked best for my skin. The next thing I'm gonna move on to is deep cleaning your face. I feel this is more important for some than others, although I would recommend everyone does this every once in a while. Not every day by any means. I mean, I think that would do more damage than good to your skin. I recognize do this once a week, possibly more if I remember, possibly less if I forget. So the first product I would recommend for deep cleaning your face is one that I used to use all the time. It is the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. I don't use this as much anymore just because my skincare routine has kind of moved on to something else. It really made my skin feel clean. I know a lot of people do use this every day because it's quite a soft cleanser. It's not like a really harsh one that's gonna damage your face if you use it a lot. So it's completely up to you how often you use this. If you're looking for a cleanser that's literally gonna be rid all of your spots, I wouldn't say this is the one. It didn't clear my skin up, but it did make it feel a lot cleaner and I think over time it just made my skin a lot smoother and a lot fresher but like if I had a spot I wouldn't run to this to get rid of it if you get what I mean. You just squeeze a little bit of this on your fingers, rub it into your face and then obviously it's the hot cloth cleanser so you get your little cloth that comes with it, run it under warm water and kind of exfoliate your face at the same time so really like that. I honestly got through probably like five or six bottles of this. The product that I use now to deep clean my face is the Kiehl's Calendula Deep Cleansing foaming face wash. Obviously having a face wash in your skincare routine is a fairly important step. I mean removing your makeup thoroughly does a pretty good job for everyday use but every now and again you do need a deep clean. A friend actually recommended this to me. This is for normal to oily skin which I have and I found that when I first started using this it made my skin more oily but I think that's because it's just such a deep thorough cleanse that is getting everything out from before and then after I'd used it a few times it was like a completely normal face wash it makes me feel so clean it just feels like there's absolutely nothing on my face I found that some face washes kind of leave your skin feeling a little bit tacky whereas this literally once you rinse it off it feels like your skin is completely bare like just popped out the womb proper fresh into the world clean and I know some of my friends have used this and it's completely cleared their skin up I didn't buy it for that reason because my skin didn't really need clearing up 
I just wanted to have a deep cleanse and that worked for me, it worked for them. So whatever your situation is, I feel like this product will probably be beneficial to you. And the final product I recommend for giving your skin a good old clean is the Bior or the Biore Pore Strips. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, sorry. I don't use these like particularly regularly. I don't really have a schedule. I just use one when I feel like my nose needs it. Basically, if you're not familiar with pore strips, you wet your nose, put the pore strip on, let it dry, peel it off and it peels all of the grime out of your pores. Proper gross, but it is so good for your pores. I really like these ones because I noticed that they actually do something. So if you're someone that particularly struggles with like this area of your face, then I would highly recommend these. They're not the cheapest brand on the market. They're not really expensive either. I think each pack is about six to eight pounds ish and you get six in each packet. But I think with pore strips, a lot of the time, the cheap ones aren't even worth your time. It's not really gonna do anything for your skin, to be honest with you. It's worth forking out that little bit extra to have a product that actually works. Right, so up next we have keeping your skin moisturized. Obviously, incredibly important step. Even if you have oily skin, so important to moisturize. I used to make that rookie mistake. Oil and moisture are two completely different things. My absolute favorite face moisturizer is this one from Liz Earl. I've relied on this for literally, I think, years. It's called the Liz Earl Skin Repair Moisturizer for normal to combination skin. A little bit like the Kills face wash, this feels like a really thorough skincare product. If you use this before you go to bed, when you wake up in the morning, your skin will look noticeably different, or at least feel it anyway. It feels so much fresher. I found that I look a lot more radiant if I use this before bed. So this is an absolute favorite. Again, not the cheapest moisturizer on the market. You might personally prefer one that you found. If so, cool, stick with that. If your skin likes a certain moisturizer, don't move away from it. But if you are looking for a new moisturizer and you haven't found anything that quite satisfies you, try this one out. Even if you only buy one of them, I'm sure you won't be disappointed. And then to moisturize my body, my favorite body butter is from The Body Shop. Obviously, had to include the mango one because that is my scent, but I do love any body butter from The Body Shop. If you've ever had a couple of body butters from there, you might have noticed that the textures are different of all of them. And I like the ones that are fairly smooth. I know the coconut one is like a little bit more firm for how the smoother body butters apply to my skin. Mango and the almond milk and honey body butters are my two favorites. The almond milk one is particularly for sensitive skin and depending on the weather, I do have quite sensitive skin on my legs. So if you struggle with like dry skin or whatever, try out the almond milk and honey body butter from the body shop, highly recommend it. It works wonders for my skin. And then finally, in the moisturization category, if you struggle with under eye circles, this one is for you. This is the Body Shop's Vitamin E Eye Cream. My mum got me this for my birthday because I'm always complaining about my under eye circles. But if I use this before I go to bed, I do notice that my under eye circles are a little bit lighter in the morning. I mean, I'm not saying it's a miracle product. You're still gonna have under eye circles when you wake up, especially if it's a genetic thing like mine. I would definitely recommend this if you want to moisturize underneath your eyes. Next up, we have the category of dealing with spots. I feel like this is gonna be quite a popular category in this video. It can be a really difficult problem to overcome. However, I feel like I've almost cracked it. Obviously, the other categories of this skincare video all contribute to the amount of spots you will have. If you're cleaning your face, you're making sure your makeup's gone, you're keeping it hydrated, you are gonna get less spots. So the first product I would recommend, if you have woken up in the morning and you are greeted with a lovely blemish on your face, I don't know about you, but for me, the initial panic sets in. I'm like, oh my God, here we go. This is the Vici Normaderm Hyalu Spot. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. So basically this comes with like a little nib on the end. You just squeeze it, put a bit of the product on your skin and you're good to go. You don't really touch your face. That's the worst thing you can do for spots is put your germy hands all over your skin. Again, I'm not gonna make out like this is a miracle working product, but it has helped my spots clear up a lot quicker than they usually would in the past. For the amount of product you get, which is 15 milliliters, it is fairly expensive. It's about eight or nine pounds, depending on where you get it from. I got mine from Boots. However, I would say that this is worth it. It was always my go-to when I was in a panic of, oh my God. And then for a cheaper old alternative to this, I actually discovered a product which is incredibly similar. This is the Good Things Clearly Spotless Clearing Gel. Same sort of formula as the Vici one, same sort of concept. This is also 15 milliliters, but this is about half the price of the Vici one. I would definitely say this one worked as well, if not better than the Vici product for me. And now if I get a spot, this is the one that I reach for. And I would say it gets rid of my spots in a couple to a few days, rather than like it dragging out for a week or so. 
so I would definitely recommend this if you want a quick remedy for getting rid of your spots again you can get it from boots anywhere like that but I think my number one product for dealing with spots is pseudocreme honestly you just can't go wrong whacking a bit of pseudocreme on before you go to bed and when I wake up in the morning it is always less red it looks less fiery and it kind of seems like it's on its way out obviously it's for like rashes and stuff it says here nappy rash eczema surface wounds acne is actually on the pot which I've never noticed before because people often said to me like oh you shouldn't use that on your skin that's too harsh for your face but says on the tub acne okay now I'm gonna move on to pampering your skin what I'm talking about is face masks who doesn't love a face mask my absolute favorite face mask in all the world my absolute go-to is the Himalayan charcoal purifying glow mask from the body shop like it says on the tin it's a charcoal mask so it's basically like a mud mask I much prefer those to ones that are like sticky and peel off I feel like it just does more for your skin if it hardens onto your face and then you have to scrub it off so that is my all-time favorite face mask from the body shop I actually could probably live on this one but another alternative that I really really like are the seventh heaven face masks particularly the deep sea mud and the creamy coconut face masks I wouldn't say that these are like a cheaper alternative unless you're not gonna do face masks a lot if you're just gonna do a face mask like once in a blue moon with your friends then yeah I would recommend these ones because they're like a pound each or something ridiculous like that but if you're more of a I'm gonna have a face mask and a pamper night quite often maybe like once a week kind of person then I would recommend the body shop one I just feel like this would be better value for money in the long run because I think it would last longer than having to keep buying like these one-time face masks if you get me either way I absolutely love both of these face masks but like I said don't get carried away don't do a face mask too often because it's just gonna irritate your skin and then the final category for today is fake tan first of all if you're gonna fake tan it is so important to exfoliate your skin first and the product that I really like using to do that is the body shops vanilla chai exfoliating sugar body scrub as you can see it's all gone I've been saving the pot for this video this was actually their Christmas scent I've now moved on to the pina colada body scrub but I have to say I do prefer this one it feels grittier and it feels like it exfoliates my skin better so this is my favorite body scrub of all time I want to try out some more body shop ones to see if I can find one that's really similar to this and I use this with an exfoliating glove in the shower before I use my fake tan just for a little bit of extra exfoliation so I'll whack a bit of this on my skin Skin, rub it in a bit and then go in with the exfoliating glove and that's how I exfoliate and also remember to focus on your elbows your knees and your ankles pretty much all the time when I fake tan I get a spray tan however I have recently discovered if I need an emergency tan and I haven't got time to go and get a spray tan my favorite fake tan to use is the Saint Moritz 5-in-1 tanning mousse in the shade medium obviously I use this with a fake tan mitt pump a little bit on, rub it on my skin in circular motions and it tends to go pretty much even. I mean, it's down to you how well you apply it. It's not really down to the product, but I do find this one really easy to work with, which is a huge benefit. I really like mousse formulas for fake tan. I feel like it spreads onto my skin easier and you can let it to develop for as long as you want it to. And then taking care of fake tan is also really important. One time when I went for a spray tan, one of the girls in the salon recommended me a specific moisturizer to keep my tan looking fresher for longer and it is this one this is the Hawaiian Tropic after sun body butter so it's actually used for like if you're sunburned it smells like coconuts it's absolutely divine I got this from Asda I know you can get it from boots and places like that however Asda was the cheapest place I think this was like six pounds or something and I think a lot of people are scared to moisturize after they fake tan because they feel like it's gonna mess up the tan but actually it does the complete opposite and if I have a spray tan it usually lasts about a week but if I'm using this, I can get it to last two to three weeks. So you're gonna get more of your money's worth if you use a moisturizer. And I have found that this one works really nicely with fake tan because it's quite a thin consistency. So that was the final category. I hope that you took something out of this video. I hope it helped one of you, whether you wanna start fake tanning, whether you needed some advice on how to deal with spots or how to keep your skin hydrated. I feel exhausted. That was like all my top tips on every single category of skincare. But hopefully it was quite informative. I'm not really too sure. Like I said not an expert I'm just talking from personal experience and I hope it helps one of you guys out so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below if you do happen to try out any of the products that I've mentioned do subscribe and you can see my videos every Monday and every Thursday they're not usually as formal and informative as this I'm not gonna lie <laughs> but anyway thanks for watching have a lovely day and I'll see you again in my next video bye